Hello guys, welcome to Bong Voyager. Hope you have liked our previous video of Sri Lanka. So here comes the second video on Lion Rock Sigiriya. Well guys, starting from where we left last time, the journey from Negombo town towards Kandy, then to Dambola and finally towards Sigiriya. It's an awesome road trip. Uh, from a roadside uh, shop so it's quite cheap uh, around 10 lk that means uh, 5 rupees in our currency so a good thing to have uh, when you're in a budget just after leaving the arena or the places around Colombo and Negombo city you will be getting to see the rural outskirts of Sri Lanka so it's around uh, 2.47 and we are standing in the highway on the way to Sigria. And it is very fascinating because it's full of lush green farmlands and we'll also see just similar to our Indian Eastern Ghats and Western Ghats foothills in the distant horizon. My also request please do watch the video till the very end because in this video I am going to tell you numerous facts about Sri Lanka which you must know. So the day was going good but unfortunately we met with a heartbreak. Yes, because by the time we reached Sigiriya Rock it was 5 pm and the locals informed that we cannot visit Sigiriya Rock right now as because it is closed and even if it is possible you cannot go on to the top. So the only option left for us was to stay back and visit next day morning. Now Candy was far away from Sigiriya Rock where he planned to stay initially. So we changed our plan and luckily thanks to our driver, he and the locals suggested that is, there is an excellent homestay in the vicinity of Sigiriya Lions Rock just around 3-4 kilometers away. So we went over there and we got the booking, we stayed there for that day. And I should say that homestay was a wonderful place because the weather was very dramatic. It was fully cloudy, it was drizzling and that place was surrounded by lush green forest. Guys, uh, now I am at a food mart in uh, Dambola. So in the evening, we don't actually had anything to do, so we thought of visiting Dambula, which is just around 7 to 10 kilometers away from Sigiriya Lions Rock. And we had a great dinner and after that a good sleep, because next day the plan was you need to wake up early and we need to visit Sigiriya Lions Rock. So the day started, it was a bright sunny morning and we were all set to visit the Sigiriya Lions Rock. Get set go! This is uh, the inner mall. We have another mall just over there. It's called outer mall. Okay. Outer so, mall? Yeah, uh, mall. Mall. Achha. Mall means in the water canal. So okay. they build, uh, they made this mall for the protection. Yeah, then uh, they, so all the things they build from the 5th century. Well, let me mention few of the interesting things from the point of view of a tourist. Height of the rock is around 660 feet, which is 200 meters. 
Sigria steps, there are around 1200 steps up to the top. How to climb it? It takes around 1 hour to go up and 30 minutes to get down. Well, for us it took more than 1 hour. We got to the topmost part of this rock within 2-3 to three hours because we took numerous amount of breaks in between. Difficulty level, I should tell it's a medium because it's not a piece of cake to straight away run and go up to the top. It's quite high and for common people, it's not that easy to get onto the top directly with your full speed. And especially when you are also a travel enthusiast in terms of vlogging or having a camera in your hand, it will be much more heavier for you. So I will add around 20 to 30 minutes extra to your upstream time. The climb is mostly made up of stairs, both stone and iron. Its name usually means lion rock and it was designed to look like a huge lion. Its entrance looks like two giant lion claws. It's not as scary as it seems but definitely you need to be physically fit to get onto the top. Now if I talk about the price, if you take the entire package that includes the Sigiria rock and also the other fascinating places like bullock cart ride, leg trip in a fishing canoe, village lunch with cooking instruction, the entire package will cost you around 4500 rupees in Indian currency or 30 US dollars. However, majority of the tourists they just visit the Sigiria Lion Rock and for us it cost around 1000 to 1500 per person. According to ancient Sri Lankan chronicle, the Kulabhamsa, this site was selected by King Kashyapa between 477 to 495 AD for his new capital. He built his palace on the top of this rock and decorated its sites with colorful paintings. On a small plateau about halfway up the side of this rock, he built a giant gateway in the form of an enormous lion. The name of this place is derived from this sculpture, Sinhagiri, the lion rock, an etymology similar to Sinhapura, the Sanskrit name of today's Singapore, also known as the Lion City. The capital and the royal palace was abandoned after the king's death. It was used as a Buddhist monastery until the 14th century. Sigiriya today is a UNESCO listed world heritage site. It is one of the best preserved examples of ancient urban planning. Now let me give you an Indian connection, Indian mythological connection to Sigiriya rock. Lal Srinivas and Mirando Ovisikara described Sigiriya as a post-historical archaeology turning point of Ravanan, which is in turn related to one of the greatest Hindu scriptures, Ramayana. According to them, Sigiriya may be the Alaka Mandava, city of gods, that was built up before 50 centuries ago by King Kuvera, who was the half-brother of Ravana as described in the Ramayana. Now let me tell you few of the more interesting facts about Sigiriya rock in terms of the geographical history. Sigiriya rock plateau was formed from magma of an extinct volcano which is around 200 meters higher than the surrounding jungles. The surrounding territories of Sigiriya were inhabited for several thousand years since 3rd century BC. Now one suggestion to all the tourists don't forget to carry a water bottle or sufficient water with you because it's not going to be easy climbing 1200 steps to the topmost part of the Sigiriya Lion's Rock. It's going to be tiring, it's going to be hot, humid, so you need sufficient amount of water. And don't step up to the topmost part if you're not confident enough or if you're having any kind of leg injury because it's going to be very tiring and it's not that easy to go up to the top. But yes, if you do go up, I can assure you it's more than a satisfactory review from my end considering the kind of landscape, panorama view you'll be going to experience over there. 
so as the saying goes that hard work pays off it is actually because when you get to the top of the sigda lines rock you can only use one word to describe the view it is beautiful yeah finally we have reached the palace of ravana in india they call it the palace of ravana i don't know what they are saying over here no surprise to see well the wind took our voices away there was so much amount of wind and unfortunately i forgot to carry my microphone so i couldn't record any of our live vlogging from there so it's all a voice over that i could do after that So one last thing guys I guess many of you prefer to bring uh, gifts and mementos for your friends and relatives uh, from the places where you visit so Sigiriya rock will also not let you down because just after coming out of the Sigiriya rock you will find uh, the local shopkeepers who will be selling mementos uh, themed on the Sigiriya line stock and it's not that expensive it will cost you around 100 to 200 rupees in indian currency so guys this is all from this episode However it doesn't mean that it was the end of the day because after visiting Sigiri Alliance Rock we planned of visiting the Pinnavala Elephant Orphanage close to Candy Town. So till then stay safe and keep rocking. We'll come back with that video soon the episode 3 and don't forget to like share and subscribe to our channel. Thank you. Goodbye.